Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now, um, XRP, Dogecoin and Cardano have all collapsed more than 50% as Bitcoin dominance soars. Uh, this story and more will be coming your way. Uh, if you're new, please do consider subscribing for daily um, Ripple news updates and XRP price predictions. But also we look at uh, crypto news updates and cryptocurrency price analysis as well. So feel free to definitely subscribe. Now, Black Wednesday is the new Black Thursday. And the cryptocurrency market is in the middle of a massive meltdown that could rival the pandemic-driven crash that actually took place on March 13, 2020, if you remember. And uh, basically why I'm saying that is because um, plenty of the top altcoins have actually erased more than half of their value in less than 24 hours. And of course, ADA and XRP have both plunged below the $1 level. They had fallen that much, but right now, currently, of course, the price has picked up. Uh, it is, uh, for XRP, it is around $1.20. And uh, also Dogecoin dipped as low as 21 cents, but also, although it is also currently uh, bouncing back to um, better prices. Let me, see, let me just say that. Uh, but of course, Bitcoin has also uh, had also tanked to just 30,000 levels on the Bitstamp exchange. And uh, this is its lowest since early February. But the top cryptocurrency was not hit even remotely as hard as the top altcoins as you can tell and of course the king's market share has spiked over 15 percent to a local peak of 46 percent even though the largest cryptocurrency is now down 51 percent from its april 14 all-time high and actually bears trimmed the total crypto market cap to just 1.2 trillion dollars earlier today but currently um when i look at the market uh, Bitcoin is actually trading right below the 40,000 mark. It, it, uh, the current price is 39,747. It is up 7%, so it's not doing that bad. Ethereum is only up 1%, so that can't say anything. Um, Binance Coin also up almost 1%. That can't say anything. It's only that Cardano has moved better. Cardano is up 6%, and Cardano has been doing very well. But we should expect this because Cardano had been trading sideways for the longest. We actually gave up on Cardano at some point, thinking that uh, it's doomed, but it kept fighting, it kept fighting, and it finally broke the barrier or the resistance level around the price of a dollar, 25 cents to 30 cents. It finally broke that barrier, and uh, it currently found a new support level at around a dollar 70 cents. And uh, yeah, it um, with the current um, crash in the crypto market, it fell, but uh, it bounced back very quick. And uh, Cardano is up more than seven percent in the last twenty-four hours, and uh, it has a price of a dollar seventy-four cents. XRP is still down with coin market cap. It's saying it's selling at a dollar fifteen cents, down three percent. And uh, Dogecoin is up one percent, not too much. Uh, it has a price of 39 cents currently at the time of me making this video. Polkadot is up 4%. Um, Bitcoin Cash up 1%. Uniswap 1%. USD Coin 1%. Litecoin 1%. Chainlink 2%. So mainly uh, the prices have been um, rising slowly, trying to recoup or rebounce back from um, the crash that we've just witnessed in the market and as you all know um mainly people that um the main news that is coming out is that um the new ban on china against cryptocurrencies is mainly the reason what caused the crash in the cryptocurrency market today and yesterday but that's what i know let me know what you think about this do you think the crash is the reason or there are other reasons to cause all of the market to crash at one time let me know in the comment sections but yeah that is what happened, but the price is currently bouncing back, as I said. And uh, yeah, when you look at the uh, general market and the global crypto market as a whole, well, um, the global crypto market, uh, the global crypto market capitalization is currently at 1.74 trillion US dollars. Uh, with all the price falling and bouncing right now, uh, the market in general is also bouncing up. And it is more than 5% in 
increased over the last 24 hours. And the total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is actually 300 billion US dollars, which makes a 10% decrease in price. Now, the total volume in decentralized finance is currently 26.3 billion US dollars, and that is 8.7% of the total crypto market in the last 24 hour volume. And uh, also, the volume of all stable coins is now 252.4 billion US dollars, which is 83.7% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. So, yeah, that is what is happening currently. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. I just wanted to give you an update on the market. And uh, yeah, uh, the market is bouncing back. Bitcoin is bouncing back. That's very nice to see. And hopefully, it will pull all the other crypto markets. Uh, cryptocurrencies as well as it usually does and uh, yeah we will get to see what um, the price chart of xrp gets to show us after this drop in price after this crash and we are going to dig deep into it i'll definitely i'm not an analyst basically and don't take my words as advice but um i always usually uh, have my go-to analysts that are always on point and i'll definitely check on them as um as uh, i finish making this video and i'll bring you the updates as i get them along i'll bring them to you and give you their updates as well so we can all together decide on which is the right path to go after this so yeah thank you very much for watching never give up currencies is mainly the reason what caused the crash in the cryptocurrency market today and yesterday but that's what I know. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think the crash is the reason or there are other reasons to cause all of the market to crash at one time? Let me know in the comment sections. But yeah, that is what happened. But the price is currently bouncing back, as I said. And uh, yeah, when you look at the uh, general market and the global crypto market as a whole, well, um, the global crypto market... Uh, the global crypto market capitalization is currently at 1.74 trillion US dollars uh, with all the price falling and bouncing right now. Uh, the market in general is also bouncing up and it is more than 5% increased over the last 24 hours. And the total crypto market volume over the last 24 hours is actually 300 billion US dollars, which makes a 10% decrease in price. Now, the total volume in decentralized finance is currently 26.3 billion US dollars, and that is 8.7% of the total crypto market in the last 24 hour volume. And uh, also, the volume of all stable coins is now 252.4 billion US dollars, which is 83.7% of the total crypto market 24 hour volume. So, yeah, that is what is happening currently. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video just wanted to give you an update on the market and uh, yeah uh, the market is bouncing back bitcoin is bouncing back that's very nice to see and hopefully it will pull all the other crypto markets uh, cryptocurrencies as well as it usually does and uh, yeah we will get to see what um, the price chart of xrp gets to show us after this drop in price after this crash and we are going to dig deep into it. I'll definitely, I'm not an analyst, basically, and don't take my words as advice, but um, I always usually uh, have my go to analysts that are always on point, and I'll definitely check on them as, um, as uh, I finish making this video. And I'll bring you the updates as I get them along. I'll bring them to you and give you their updates as well, so we can all together decide on which is the right path to go after this so yeah thank you very much for watching never give up uh, until the next one bye